wicked people cannot accept weakness matthew chapter 28 and verse 13 they told the soldiers you must say jesus disciples came during the night while we were sleeping and they stole his body this text depicts another high end drama organized by the chief priests and the religious leaders the very act of nailing christ jesus to the cross was out of sheer jealous and unresolved spiritual issues They knew that Jesus told them he would rise again on the third day and therefore they decided to play it smart by paying a huge sum to the soldiers to tell them that the disciples stole the body. Typical honor shame philosophy of the East. To the chief priests and the religious leaders, Jesus' resurrection would be a huge shame and they did not have the courage to face the truth. Truth cannot be hidden. However, wicked people have nothing to do with the truth. Everyone is weak in some area and it is perfect to be weak. To acknowledge weakness you need courage, but many do not have the courage since they think people will trample them if they are aware of their weakness. According to the Bible, it is only in our weakness we can enjoy God's strength. Weakness helps us with the reality and lets us avail God's strength. Godly people do not hesitate to disclose weakness and draw strength from God, while the wicked brag about their strength and never even believe that they too can be weak. The reasons for not disclosing can be varied. It could be shame, it could be pride not to disclose, could be fear of rejection, could be loss of reputation and the list is endless. However, God who made us knew our weakness and inability and therefore he can handle all of our emotional issues related to disclosing weakness and vulnerability. God can strengthen us if we get to him instead of feeling bad about it. Godly people depend on God for everything. Wicked people cannot accept weakness amen